Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. I forgot what my name was there. For <laughs> um, so TNT. Yeah. I uh, I went to the hot tub today after oh. after I got off my real job. All right. We already had a discussion about how I think hot tubs are disgusting and Jonas thinks that they're a lovely treat. There was three other men in the hot tub when I went over there. I had human soup with them. You got in? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I the reason I bring this up. Oh, man. Okay. Is it gay? Yes. No, it's not uh, gay. No, I'm sorry. I thought I just thought we were Excuse asking me. my opinion. Excuse me. Fair, um, fair enough. So I got in the tub, uh-huh, uh-huh. and they were talking about YouTubers. Really? Yes. They oh, were, they oh, were uh, I don't know. They weren't really up your alley. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Whew, I was enthralled by their conversation yeah but uh that's so, more my speed so i realized that people that are younger than me okay. are stupid what? <laughs> no oh, i'm kidding oh my god i'm kidding no no I, I like where this is going though because you know i got an opinion about yeah, it yeah so i want to tell funny. you Go about right the youtubers they were talking he was talking about someone and i feel like he knew him personally because i got in the hot tub yeah. and the first thing i heard was and and the video about Seattle is 59 minutes and it's doing real well. And we're going to make them all like that moving forward. Okay. And, all then right. he, and then and he's like and then he was all like something about this guy named Tyler and about like how he was hanging out with him or something. And I feel like Tyler Tyler <laughs> I don't know. Is oh, so he talk wait, is he talking about Tyler Tyler? I have no idea. Break the keyboard wife beater. Uh, is he from Austin? Meathead Tyler. Is he from I don't. A lot of them are. You'd yeah, be surprised. I know. Like Ch- Angry Joe lives here. Chach was telling me about somebody he watches that lives in Austin too. Oh yeah, Rooster Teeth is out oh, here. Angry that, yeah. Joe is out here. There's a bu- there's a bunch of. So, them. anyways, anyway. they were, and then he was like, um, and then they started talking about like, then his buddy was like, you should just steal his content and you should just make your own videos about it. And he was like, he wants to do one about aliens, bro. And uh, and I was like, what's going on? And then the one guy goes. You know, I love... Who did he say? <laughs> this is going to be very helpful. While wow. Jonas gives, like, boomer takes on YouTubers, <laughs> and I name off, like, <laughs> certain aspects about them. And Go he, ahead. Well, give, the give one it guy up. was like, I really like... Ah, Tyler, Tyler, huh? Somebody. Kenny Wong. Okay, not familiar the, with Kenny you know, Danny Wong. Duncan. Davey Duncan? Danny Duncan. Danny Duncan. Because the one guy goes... Who's who's the most live YouTuber right now? And he goes, Kenny Wong. He goes, you don't even make content no more. And he goes, he's still the livest out there. And then he goes, who's the livest who still makes content? And he's like, Danny Duncan. And he was like, I like Bryce. And he was like, Bryce is a clone. Oh, everybody likes Bryce. He's like, Bryce is a clone. Bryce like, is a clone. He's like, Bryce is a Danny Duncan clone. He is. Yeah. yeah. I don't then, know who Danny Duncan is. Yeah. But and then I he's know like, Bryce I like Almost Friday. And I'm just They're sitting here. And then, and then they start talking about like. They want to, he's like, he goes, uh, yeah, we going over to Obi's house later, you know? And I was like, okay, you know? And he goes, he goes, man, I wish it was just us, man. You know, he's just going to invite a bunch of people over there. He goes, and this time he's probably going to drink two bottles of Tito's instead of one. And I'm just like, are they trying to impress me? Cause like, why are they talking about this in the hot tub? And then he's like, he's like, man, I was, I think we should go camping for new year's. Just, just us. He's like, that'd be better, man. Like, you know, we can go over there. Some wild shit's going to go down. It's going to get crazy. And I was, nah. and he was like, and he was like, we could bring the campus supplies. And then we could just be like, it was fun. Love you, Obi. And we could go, the, and we could go camp in the desert with fireworks. And I was like, what the hell is going on right now? And he's like, I just want it to be us, man. You know, it'd be cool if it was me, you, and like Gerald, like, you know, but like, you know, they're going to come. And, you know, there's a bunch of spoiled rich kids with money and got nothing to do. And it's going to yeah. wild out. You know, Ivy keyed a car last time. You know, Ivy. He yeah. keyed and I was just like. Ivy do be doing that. And I was like, this, I was just, I didn't say a word at all to them no. the entire time. I was like, no. I said, hey, what up when I got in? They're just gabbing. Okay. And then, uh, what? and then, and I'm just like, what is happening? It's like, is this is this life? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. What do you want? Who's your favorite YouTuber? Why do you like Tyler so much? I do not like Tyler. I don't actually watch Tyler, but I'm familiar with him. Um, Who is my favorite YouTuber is an insane question to ask after you just gave that whole account about these these kids talking about YouTube. Uh, I don't know. I'll I'll give you. Hit me back on that. I don't know. Who's your most skibbity? (laughs) 
<laughs> Not gonna dignify that with an answer. I will say is that I look, I I I get what the kids are talking about. Apparently, they're all YouTubers. Maybe they have some sort of following. There's a lot of popular YouTubers here in Austin. So if they social network properly, maybe they do have some connections. I was wondering if I was in the tub with some famous tubers. So I didn't. I don't really see any difference in that over like some guys talking about work. You know. Because essentially it is work, and it's also fun and recreational for them. And it is a big time of the year. They're out of school, so and kids ain't got shit to talk about. Because all you've done at that age is is take a shit and jack off. And so, party. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, and I get it too. Like, do, what do you want to do for New Year's? Do you want to go to the big the big banging party with a bunch of spoiled rich kids? Sounds like fun. Or we can just go camping. That's. I mean, honestly. I like how you're signing with the Zillennials. I signed with them because I realized what I was when I was a kid. I talked about nothing. I did nothing. We, did, It was just like bullshit. We talked about, like, when I think about music today, I re- or music period to a certain okay. extent, I feel like it is geared towards children. I feel like children. A thousand percent. Children are the true fans. Yes. Uh, children with disposable income or parents who are willing to give up disposable income are the biggest buyers of music. They're the ones listening to what's popular, like on the radio and They're, what's on the hit lists and all that exactly. kind of stuff. It's crazy, but when you think about it, music is basically the tastemakers are like 17 and under. Well, yeah, because, well, here's the thing. The 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 media, whoever, comes out with, like, the billboard chart. Mm-hmm. And if you're a kid and it's in the top ten, you're going to listen to it. Because it's what's popular and what's on the radio and it's what your friends are listening to and stuff like that. Where we, to, to a certain extent. Where we, if we go and say what's hot right now and we listen to it and we don't like it, we're like, I ain't listening to that shit. Bro, and look, I'm going to keep it a buck, man, like... There's been some music that comes out and it, people are like, oh, yeah, this song is going. This is the new hot song. This is the new. I listen to it. and I'm like, I just I don't get it. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't like the Nicki Minaj Lil Uzi Vert song. I don't. That, I haven't heard it, but I probably wouldn't like it either. I, just, I don't. I don't know if I get it, man. I don't, and uh, fine. I'm getting old. Whatever. Fine. I'm old. I'm an old man. I'm an old head. I don't get it. But I'm not. Head. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look up. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, kids are stupid. They're just kids. They don't know any better. I know. So I, of course I, they're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> of course I'm they're stupid. Wrong. Is what I should say. Of course they're stupid because they haven't been through shit. Uh, my favorite YouTuber, I will say is that one of the YouTubers I have been listening to for a long, 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 long time. Even when I quit him, I can't go back. I can't help but go back eventually is Northern Lion. Northern Lion? Northern Lion. What's he play or do? He is a 30-something Canadian uh, YouTuber who is bald with glasses. Uh, he used to do a lot of Binding of Isaac, and now he does this kind of like random games. Is that the guy that you used to listen to a lot back in the day, and he has it like is. that really soothing voice? Maybe. He has a very, he has a very good, and he's all just like, hey, guys. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, either way, I don't know. So he's just like an adult. He talks, uh, he uses a lot of big words. You know, that's my thing. I love it when I can hear somebody else use a big word that I'm not familiar with. Oh, how many dictionary drops do you got to do a day on him? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't really listen to him so much anymore, but I, I do listen to some of the stuff he does. What's your favorite I, genre to watch on the internet? <laughs> I don't know. I just watch people play video games. Like I grew out of PewDiePie. I don't know if you if you, if you probably know the name. I know of who he is. You is know, he uh, racist? Didn't he say some n words? Uh, that was a long time ago. But yes, he did make some comments. But I'm not gonna. I'm not cutting. Not cutting him any bail because I did stop listening to him after that. A lot of YouTubers have said some wild shit over the days because it's you know it's a it's a shock contest. Who can say oh. the most shocking thing? Oh, is that what it is? Oh yeah, dude. YouTube is always. It's. I mean, look. It's content creation. Content creation is always a shock contest. Oh, so you want to start saying some wild stuff on our podcast? I say wild shit all the time, Jonas. You would. I literally attacked the Christians last week. Nothing. <laughs> Thing. I attack Christians. I don't know what else I can do. You gotta start it out with that. I don't know what else I can do. The first thing you gotta do is be like, bow, bad thing about Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that talking about Jesus is doing anything. We gotta talk about the devil. So, like I said, oh, either we start a Church of Satan podcast, Margot Robbie podcast, I think we'll blow What about up. a combo? 
Kanye. The Church of Satan Margo podcast. The Kanye podcast. Oh, all talking. three. All three. Did you see that he put out a forgiveness in Judaism? Hebrew. Mm. I also saw the things that he said in that uh that little uh, tirade that he had in Talabasas. Oh, in the party? And yeah, we had that like twelve minute tirade at a party. Yeah, and uh, run the jewels, not run the jewels. Uh, what's her name? Something the jewels was there. But yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw, also saw the uh, the black clan hood that he wore at at the concert. Oh, I didn't see that. Mm, yeah, Kanye's out here, man. You know, he's always Black Skinhead was the name of one of his songs. Yeah. So he, he's just, you know, he's staying on brand, is, I guess. Is it a banger? Black Skinhead? No, nah, that album sucked. That was Yeezus. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, anyways. Life that's of all Pablo, time. though. Life what? Of, I said Life of Pablo, though. Mm, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. DNC. Oh, yeah.